Welcome guys. In this video I'll teach you how to properly use the VSS sniper rifle in player unknowns battlegrounds. This weapon receives a lot of hate in the PUBG community and I think it's mostly because its usage and purpose are commonly misunderstood. Now in order to actually use the VSS properly you need to know the following. How to use the VSS scope, bullet drop and how far above your target you need to shoot, bullet velocity and how far ahead of your target you need to shoot, when to use the VSS and when not to use the VSS. The VSS scope is complicated at first glance, but everything in it has a purpose and boy does it work. The scope has two main sections, the triangles here called chevrons which you use for aiming and then you have the rangefinder. The rangefinder is super cool, it's divided into two parts, a distance measurement and a height measurement. A player standing 100 meters away will fit right here as 1.7 meters is approximately the height of a standing player and a player in crouch position will approximately fit at the 1.0 mark. We use these measurements to determine how far away the target is and you can also use other objects for distance measurement if you know their approximate height. So let's have some examples. The body of the Dacia is about 1 meter tall and that fit perfectly in the 200 meter rangefinder. I now know I need to use the second chevron in order to hit the wheel. You can also use the rangefinder of the scope at further distances than 300 meter. The window of the hut here sits at about the height of a player. And since it fits perfectly in the 400 meter mark, I need to aim using a fictional fourth chevron in order to hit the window. When it comes to bullet velocity, the VSS has the lowest of all sniper rifles. The speed of sound at sea level is approximately 340 meters per second and the VSS has a bullet velocity of 330 meters per second, meaning it's subsonic. There will never be a sonic boom and the bullet will hit pretty much the same time as the shot can be heard. If at all you are able to hear the shot since it's suppressed. I've recently made a guide video about how to consistently hit moving targets and in that video I explained the 1 to 100 rule. If you haven't seen it, make sure you do, as the 1 to 100 rule is the baseline of the math behind how far to aim ahead using the VSS. In the video I say you have to aim about two player models ahead of your target using the VSS if the player is running perpendicular to your bullet trajectory at a range of 100 meters. However, the precise number is actually 2.8. So if you want to hit a moving target who is running perpendicular to your bullet trajectory, you must aim three player models ahead of that player for every 100 meters of distance. This is obviously a lot and the conclusion of this is that while you can hit moving targets if you aim properly, you should only do it if it's really important that you remain stealth and no one has spotted you yet. The VSS is not designed for hitting moving targets. The purpose of the VSS is to silently kill stationary targets and it's great for harassing players who's going to freak out when they hear the bullets flying around them with no clue where they're being attacked from. In terms of actually killing people with the VSS, I feel it does the best job between 50 to 200 meters. At longer distances it becomes increasingly harder to get a kill and if you want to have the highest chance of getting a kill, don't do a test shot first because people will just move. Measure the distance using the rangefinder and then fire a volley of shots as people will often die before they can react. In a direct gunfight, do not attempt to take up duel using the VSS as you'd be at a large disadvantage simply because of the slow bullet velocity. Even though you shoot first, your enemy is likely to hit you first. 
The gun has an auto fire option, but this really has no use other than confuse you, keep it at single target and auto fire using something else. So to sum up, use the VSS for stealth operation, use it to get silent kills on stationary targets, use it to harass other players and use the rangefinder built into the scope. Do not use the VSS for moving targets, do not use it for auto fire and do not use it when spotted and engaged in a direct gunfight. Now that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope this guide will make you enjoy the VSS more and pick it up the next time you find it. If you liked the video, don't hesitate to subscribe for more awesome content and I'll see you guys next time.